Welcome to the Wingman Show. We're floating like butterflies and stinging like bees. Rumble, you badass jet pilots. Rumble. Ho, 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 this is our holiday show. Welcome to the Wingman Show. My name is Drew Brown, and my man, my main man, my Santa Claus sometimes is Dr. Paul Thompson. How are you, brother, for this holiday season? Well, good morning, Mr. Drew. I am very good. It's a uh... Nice day here, nice and chilly. You look like you're dressed up in a very festive way today, like you're celebrating something. Ho, ho, ho. That's because I didn't mean to say you were my Santa. You're like my secret Santa. Okay. You always get me stuff that I don't know about. There you go. I just don't have the uh, get up that you have this morning. Well, the reason I have this get up, first of all, I love Christmas. And because I'm Jewish and I'm multicultural, I love Hanukkah, too. So today's, uh, I think, the seventh day or sixth day of Hanukkah. And the funny thing is you get eight presents on Hanukkah, and then you're wide open on Christmas. And since I'm an only child, I just got presents for day. This is my favorite time. And one thing, my parents were divorced when I was younger, but they always got together for me for Christmas. And so this holiday means a hell of a lot to me. Welcome, everybody. Please write a review for us on Apple Podcasts if you can. Watch us on YouTube. You'll get to see these fancy jets we have behind us. And plus, we put up a lot of pictures for the stories. For our frequent flyers who listen to us all the time, we love you. Thank you so much. Have a happy and healthy holiday. Our newsletter is out at wingmanshow.com. So I want to talk about these jets real quickly here. Dr. Paul. I have an A6 intruder behind me with the wings folded. And as you and I know on that carrier, you think parking is bad in New York. Parking is real bad on the top of an aircraft carrier. So we fold our wings to get more spots. But it's called an A6 intruder. I want to talk about something. The plane behind you is a T-45 Goshawk. Dr. Paul, can you tell me a little bit about that plane? But more than that, what the hell is a Goshawk? A goshawk, first of all, they call it the T-45 goshawk. A goshawk is basically a northern hawk. It's kind of a raptor, a bird of prey, just like the uh, like the harrier. With the harrier, harrier is also a bird of prey. And uh, the Navy likes to, to use cats and uh, things named after birds for their airplanes. But the T-45 goshawk, that was just kind of coming in when I was leaving the service. It's a, it's a nice looking airplane. That one with the B, that means it's from Kingsville, Texas, training wing two. That hasn't oh, changed. I, I flew there. That's where I got my wings at Beeville. Okay. Well, this is this is Kingsville. I think oh, C, okay. was, C was uh, Chase Field. Got you. Beeville. Before they closed it down. I think that's right. And F was Pensacola. Flew A7s, though, and they were called Corsairs. What the hell is a Corsair? A Corsair. Yeah, A7 Corsair. Corsair is a pirate. <laughs> What? It's a, uh, of course, there's a pirate. We'll, we'll we'll put some of those pictures on there. Also, you know, to uh, back up with Mr. P- Mr. Drew is saying, especially if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the like button. No, hit the like button. Don't smash it either, because you bust your computer up, and you don't want to. You don't want to do that. I've had I've broken key keyboards, so don't smash the like button. But if you give us a like, that helps the uh, the algorithm make us a little more prominent. So we'd appreciate that. Just just give us a like and that'd be fine. But anyway, the Goshawk is uh that's the primary, that's the intermediate uh advanced jet trainer. It's uh it, it replaced the T2 and the A4, which both you and I flew. We both flew those. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a smaller airplane, a lighter airplane. Maybe we'll throw a picture of me standing next to one uh, when I was in Memphis in September. Uh they flew one into uh the Luke Weathers uh flight academy. And I took a picture with an with an instructor who who brought one in. Cool guy. It's uh, different than what we flew. It's uh, it's lighter physically. It can't fly as far. It can go to like forty two thousand feet. It can go about five hundred and fifty miles an hour. Damn. But it's uh, it's you know it's it's all digital now. It's got the EFIS cockpit. Very very modern, and they do spin training, uh, not as aggressively as the T two did. It's not it's not built. It's not as rugged apparently. But uh, wow, they get that's a, that's good. amazing. Well, you know, Doctor Paul was sponsored by Magic Mind. And I'm taking my magic mind. You know, I am laser focused now and my stress is going down. But this is the big thing. I went out shopping the other day for just get my list together. And honest to God, I was so excited. I finished every single thing. 
I just don't have that. I'll do it tomorrow anymore in me. And I think it's that magic mind. I mean, it's the new 4.0. We're getting seven hours of energy and less stress instead of five. What do you think about that magic mind? Because I'm loving it. They're great sponsors. And anybody, if you want to get some, just go to magicmind.co. That's magicmind.co. And put in the code WINGMAN. Put in the code WINGMAN, and you'll get up to 40% off. That's our sponsor. What do you think, Doc? Yeah, Magic Mind. It's great. Uh, again, I like the uh, the 4.0. I like the improved taste. I put it in my mouth and I uh, I squish it around for about 20, 30 seconds or so. And this one, it's 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 really good. It's really good and it does uh help your focus. My energy is good throughout the day, either you know, pre-workout, post-workout. I do like it. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. So oh, I recommend yeah. it. I think we're gonna talk a little bit about the turmeric later in the show. Yeah, I can I can say a little bit. I I had some extra turmeric yesterday. <laughs> I know <laughs> I saw night. some you get the real stuff. Yeah, the real uh, stuff. Dr. Paul, we just witnessed, I swear, one of the greatest sporting events ever. We watched the World Cup, and it was the most exciting game I think I've ever seen. And I don't think I've ever watched an entire soccer game before. But Argentina beat France. France tied it up in the end, and then they had to have a shootout. Lionel Messi is now named the greatest soccer player of all time, other than Pele. And Mbappe for France had right. three goals. I'm telling you, we were, I was with the family. We were screaming, yelling. It was the most exciting thing ever. Yeah. What I want to tell you is though, Argentina, you think we care about sports. The country of Argentina has 16 million people. They said that 5 million of them were in Buenos Aires to receive Lionel Messi and the soccer team, 5 million people in the city. People said that out of 5 million jerseys, they saw two that didn't have Messi's name on it. But they had a parade through Buenos Aires. Dr. Paul, there were so many people there, they had to fly in a helicopter to get Messi out. What do you think about this World Cup? Because I think it's brought up soccer in this country big time. I just never had any, you know, I use the N-word, Dr. Paul. You know what my N-word is? I I said, I never love soccer. Well, God shows me once again, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, because that game was the bomb. Yeah, the the, the amazing thing was that uh, for France, you know, two of those goals were scored, like, you know, in rapid succession, which almost never happens. So it looked like it was, you know, okay, they were going to, you know, it wasn't going too well. And all of a sudden they tie it up, you know, like out of nowhere. And the thing that's really interesting, we hadn't, we hadn't talked about it, but both Messi and Mbappe, you know, when they're not paying for their – Respect teams. They play on the same team in France. Wow. You know, no. Messi makes like 400 million a year. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I think he's, he's in fact, they, his, his, he is the wealthiest athlete. Yeah. I think in, in career, just career earnings, nothing else, just career earnings, he's exceeded a billion dollars. Oh, yeah. The jerseys yeah. alone that's got his name on it. You know, without that, just, just without that. Yeah. Without I jerseys or soda pop or, anything i said well, you know pop. i was i said soda pop i just caught myself yeah why not oh <laughs> wow you you brought both <laughs> words together so soda pop. yeah 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 okay well you know this is the greatest sporting event they said since ali frazier and your wingman drew brown i was very lucky because i was at ali frazier i was in the corner of ali frazier and that was the greatest sporting event of all time i remember that yeah. and for anybody who doesn't know ali frazier let me just put it to you this way. Uh, Dr. Paul and I were trying to come up with a comparative. It would be like if Vladimir Putin was fighting Klitschko in a boxing match. And Klitschko used to be the heavyweight champion. He's the mayor of Kiev. Isn't that something? So that boxing match would be amazing. It's just everybody would want to see this. Well, that was what Ali Frazier was. I hope I explained that well enough. This was just a great event. And talking about the Russians, do you know that they may exclude boxing in this upcoming Olympics? And when they said that, you know, I grew up with boxing and I was very blessed. My dad trained the two greatest fighters to ever live. And that was my uncle, Sugar Ray Robinson, and then obviously Muhammad Ali. But boxing has really gone to hell. 
I mean, I don't know who the heavyweight champion is now. And when we were growing up, everybody knew who the heavyweight champion was. So I thought they were going to exclude boxing because of the non-relevance and the athletes weren't as good. But that's not true. They're not going to maybe let boxing in there because the Russians are in charge of the Federation for Boxing. And they've been cheating. Hmm. Yeah, they were caught cheating. And the, the last two Olympics I've seen, there were some there were some boxing matches. They were really, really one-sided. And you wonder, you know, who paid off who. I remember the uh, commentary of Teddy Atlas one time. You know, he was just commenting on one. And he basically afterwards, after the decision, he almost apologized to the viewers. I'm, it's, it shouldn't be like this. And I was thinking, why they put like put him in charge of it or something like that? It's really unfortunate. Now everything is MMA is is MMA is probably is probably not more popular than boxing, but it's probably on par and will exceed it. You know, in the near future, depending on the the personalities of the stars. With the boxing, you know, you got you got like four different divisions and four sets of champions, and nobody. I don't know. Who, I don't know who's who. I was there in the beginning, Dr. Paul. I'm not in the beginning of boxing, but the beginning of this great era. And I'll tell you what, Don King and Bob Aaron ruined boxing because they would get fighters and they would sign them the contracts and they wouldn't let them fight unless they fought with them. So you never really got to see one fighting two or three fighting four. And if I didn't like it, I'd just make my own organization and I'd be champion of it. So that that's how they screwed up boxing. But you were talking about refereeing and boxing, judging. Well, two things. First of all, the first Ali Frazier fight, one of the judges had an 11 to 4 Frazier, which was a total ripoff. I thought Ali won the fight, but if he didn't, he only lost it by one round. But one guy had an 11 to 4. But better than that, when George Foreman was older, he was boxing somebody and he lost the close decision. And the truth was, George Foreman actually won. But when they interviewed him, the guy was ready for George Foreman to just go in on boxing, how this was cheating and everything. And he put the mic up to him and he said, George, you got cheated out of that fight. What do you think? He said, well, you win some, you lose some. But my new George Foreman grill is coming out and it has sliding grease that don't get you fat. George Foreman grill. And I was like, what? Then the the, uh, reporter said, no, no, I, I I understand that. But tell me about the cheating. He said, cheating, schmeeting. I'll tell you, this new George Foreman grill will change your life. And I just thought that was the coolest marketing of all time. Yeah. Well, obviously, he had it on his mind the whole time, no matter what the decision was. You're going to, you know, yeah, we, I, I, I'm glad I won. But the George Foreman grill comes out next week, the new and improved one. You got to have one. That's right. It slices, it dices, you know, that whole deal. No doubt about it. Remember last week we talked about headlights? Yes. And how these headlights are really blinding us? Well, I'm taking action, Dr. Paul. If you want to join me, you can. But whenever those bright-ass headlights hit me again, what I'm doing now is I'm flashing them like their high beams are on. So when I see those bright headlights, I flash them. That's not not a bad idea. You know, just a couple days ago, you know, in the daytime now, (laughs) they're even too bright. Uh, the, the the police cars have them. We got to get new police cars around here. Some of theirs are too bright. They like their blue lights, and blue they're lights just they're, they're 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 all over the place now. It's a new department they set up. Those lights are flashing all the time. I, I'm sure you can see it from outer space. You know, even if the sun is out, but even their stuff is like you know it doesn't need to be that bright. Yeah, I don't want to bring up anything negative, but those cop blue lights. And I just hate to say this, but it's the truth. If you're a black person in America and you're driving a car and you see them blue lights, a lot of shit goes through your body all at once, even when you're not doing anything wrong. But yeah, because I always think, well, somebody's in trouble. I don't. It's not me. It's always in trouble. Well, you know what time it is? It's time for a wingman PSA. This is from the 11 Facts in Life. The goal is a long, healthy and happy life. Be better than your parents and make this world better for your children. The goal is a long, healthy, and happy life. That is a wingman, ESA. Can't beat that, huh, Doc? No, not at all. Okay, I'd like to discuss something with you that we talked about last week also, but just a little update. Do you know that 38% of all Americans over 50 years old are single? 
No. 38%. That's a lot of lonely people out there. And why I'm telling you this is because scamming has become one of the biggest industries in the world, it seems like. Uh, people got scammed out of $6.1 billion last year. And one of the scams happened to an older person. And what happens as you're older and you're lonely, you're looking for love. Uh, the problem is that song, looking for love in all the wrong places. Right. This woman was on Instagram, 70-year-old woman, 75-year-old uh, woman, excuse me, nice lady on Instagram. And she followed this certain journalist who used to write uh, stories, political or whatever. Anyway, on one of his stories, she wrote a little note to him. Good job. The next, I think, week after that, she got a letter from him, she thought, on Instagram saying, thank you for being one of my special fans. Anyway, he told her, let's start talking on Skype. So they started Skyping each other. Long story short, he said, because you're such a great fan, I'm going to send you something from Switzerland where I live. And she said, no, don't bother. He said, no, I think my fans deserve it. Anyway, he sent something. She gets a call from the shipping company saying that she needs like a thousand dollars for shipping costs. When she talks to the guy, he says, my money's tied up. If you could just pay the shipping, don't worry. It's well worth it. So it goes on. She's paying the shipping, paying the shipping. Then she gets a phone call from the shipping company that they opened up the package. It was full of cash and that she will be charged with laundering money unless she pays a certain amount of dollars. She wound up losing over seventy thousand wow. dollars. But she was scared that they were going to put her in jail for money laundering. And an old seventy-five-year-old woman by herself was scared out of seventy thousand. Now, you're probably thinking this can't happen to me. Well, it happened to me. In one of our earlier shows when we no. first started this, remember they scammed me for a dog. Oh, that's right. That's right. The uh, Harlequin. That's right. Scam me for a thousand dollars. So I'm part of that six point one billion. That's right. That's right. But my advice and Dr. Paul is going to talk about it. And on our newsletter or in our newsletter, we're going to write a little something about scams and how to avoid them. My best advice to you is if it's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. Nothing in this world comes free. Nothing. So whatever is free, it's worth something else. That's right. Uh, so somebody called here last night. I, I still have a landline phone. Uh, every once in a while, there's a, a call that comes through that's good. But someone called last night, late last night, and is like, "Oh no, go away, go away." And they just, they just, they just prey on folks who are, you know, lonely and confused. And they're so they're very good now. The technology. See, bad guys use technology too, and they're very good at disguising things and making look th things look legit. For example, in your unfortunate circumstance, I remember you sent me the uh, the website where you got this thing. It was a very nice website. You know, a very nice website, <laughs> but it was a total scam. This is high tech. Thing. These are people in high other tech. countries. Yeah, so you can't go by that. And also, if if you for those listening or watching, you know, the Wingman Show will probably never ask you to part with any of your retirement money. <laughs> so if someone says, if you really believe in the Wingman. You know, send us two hundred thousand dollars. That'd be nice. No, that's but not going to. It's not legit. That's not. Well, legit. tell them the reason why. It's because we have money. We busted right, yeah. our ass all our life. We yeah. worked. We retired. We have some money. We don't need to steal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not only is lying and cheating and stealing bad. You know, we don't need to do that. You know, and we're naval officers. Naval officers. We have a code to live by. Also, have no desire to be, you know, an inmate. That's correct. We also talked about something with credit cards, and you wrote something really good in the newsletter last week about credit and credit cards. But I did want to make this one point about credit cards, because along with scams, credit cards are scams, too. If you borrow $1,000 or buy $1,000 worth of stuff on a credit card and you pay off only the minimum, it will take you nine years to pay off that $1,000, meaning you would have paid the credit card company over four or $5,000 just to pay back that thousand. That's right. Yeah. At, at the high cost of admission, that's, uh, that's interest. So the, the reason I brought up this scamming also, Dr. Paul, is this, this person, she became depressed and a lot of people, I was depressed as hell, if you don't remember, but after you get scammed, 
there are a lot of things that go through your mind. You think you're dumb. You think it's your fault. You just feel confused. And people have lost their entire retirements on scams. And the one thing that kicks up just in my brain just now, we have something in us called greed. And if one of those, that's like one of the eight deadly sins. And if that greed kicks up and if you think you can make 10,000 when you just made a thousand, most people will stay in to try to get more money. But it just usually doesn't work like that. But what happens when your spirit goes down? What are some of the things you can do to, to pick up your spirit? Because we're not just here to tell you about, we don't tell you about bad stuff. We try not to. But, you know, some of the things that you can do to maintain your spirit. And one of them, it's the, one of the most important things in the facts in life. It's you have to have purpose. Have purpose. Have something to do. Dr. Paul and I, our purpose now is this wingman show, trying to get good stuff out there to the people. But you can connect with others. Stay positive. I'm a very positive person. I always try to make a negative into a positive. Get physically active. Dr. Paul will tell you, move. Get your body up and move. Exercising is one of the best ways to combat stress, one of the best ways to combat depression. Start moving. Another great one, help somebody else. Get out of your own mind. Yeah. Helping others is one of the greatest gifts you can get. Get enough sleep. Create joy and satisfaction. You do it yourself. Have fun. Eat well. You can't eat like shit and feel good. It just doesn't work out. Right. It doesn't make sense. You got to take care of your spirit. Dr. Paul, tell me about keeping up your spirits. You know, the, you know, my way, my method is uh, movement. Movement always helps me. <clears throat> it can be strenuous. It can be relaxing. I like it somewhere in the middle. But just consistently. Today today for me is a day off, which is okay. But uh, the next two, next few days will not be. And it's good. It's, I do it as a th- it's therapy. It's good therapy first thing in the morning. If you can, depending on your life, your schedule may not permit it. If you've got children, young children, other responsibilities, you may have to get it in when you can. But the point is to get it in. Try to do it, you know, something, a few minutes. Anything is better than nothing. But and it can, gets your blood flowing. I mean, yeah. this is physiological, not just, you know, in your mind. That's right. That's right. Right. You've got to get those souls moving. Uh, and, and and don't eat all the you – know, most of the stuff that's out, is, there's just a lot of crappy food. And I have to fight the temptation to go grab something quick. I don't. And I and I'll 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 get a little hungry first before I lower myself to getting some some bad crap, and that's hard to do. That's really yeah, hard to do because sugar is the new crack. Yeah, it acts the same way on your brain as cocaine. Yeah, and the sugar comes in many different forms. It can be hidden in many different ways. So well, you're going to get some of it. You just don't want to, you know, uh, overdose. It's the processed sugar that you want to stay away from. Yes. Well, actually, I was there. But these are some of the things that you can do to keep up your spirits. And you do one very well. You're a writer. And they say blogging and writing is something you can do. Cooking, dancing, gardening, maybe making some jewelry, painting, photography. Find something that you like to do and start doing it. And maybe make that your purpose. But I'll tell you one thing that does it for sure. And that's helping others. Yes. Yes. All right, I want to get into this, Doc, because you're the smart one. They just came up with something last month that said nuclear fusion actually might be working. So after 60 years of work and nuclear fusion, all it means is that you put less energy in and you get more energy out. Dr. Paul will explain it to you a little bit more scientifically, but nuclear fusion can create carbon free power. And that means we could actually make our own energy, putting less energy into something and getting more energy out. Nuclear fusion. Dr. Paul, what the hell is nuclear fusion? Well, kind of what you said, you know, you 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 basically you're adding one and one instead of getting two, you're getting two point five, maybe more. You know, you know, we do most nuclear reactions or we're familiar with a nuclear fission where you kind of split the atom and you get your energy that way. Uh, doing that causes, uh, I guess, a lot of nuclear waste that has to be disposed of and a lot of uh, garbage that someone has to deal with at some point. Well, splitting the atom, isn't that the start of the nuclear weapon? 
Yeah, yeah. Basically, it's a, a you know a, con- a controlled reaction that's, that's destructive. You're splitting the atom. Fusion. You're bringing atoms together. You're bringing atoms together, and getting more energy from the two together than uh, than the two separately. And the big thing is what you said. There's no there's no debris. There is uh, there will be some byproducts left, but they won't be nearly as toxic as the uh, is splitting it. And so the, things, the truth is, took, one day we could be actually energy independent. Yeah, yeah. So they, I think they used an experiment where they took like 192 lasers, and they were, you know, concentrating them on this object that they, they, uh, they directed the lasers on, and created more energy out than what went in. And they were surprised first time they were able to do it accurately. That's incredible. So, you know, we were just talking about keeping your spirits up. You know what else you could do? To- keep your spirits up you can take magic mind like we do <laughs> i was i was, you know, I, was, I, was gonna, I was i was gonna say that but i didn't i didn't want to override you but yeah it, that does help it does really help do something you like take, take some magic mind you know give it a try give it a try magic mind's good and the turmeric we were talking about once right. again people if you would like some try this dr paul and i take it and once again we don't need to lie to you but magic mind it's 4.0, and you go to magicmind.co, that's magicmind.co, and put in the code WINGMAN, and you'll get 40% off. But we were talking about the ingredients in it. All of them are natural. All of them are good for you, but there's one ingredient, turmeric. I have a friend of mine who I call Sunshine. She's such a sweet, sweet woman, and she got into a very bad car accident long time ago. And because of my age and my working out, my knees hurt, my shoulders hurt, my back hurts. You know, as you get older, inflammation comes in. And that's why you should stop sugar because sugar helps produce inflammation. But turmeric, on the other hand, stops inflammation. So it's good for my diabetes. It's good for my inflammation. Turmeric is one of the healthiest things. Anyway, Sunshine taught me about this little mix that I make now with turmeric, black pepper, Mm -hmm. a little cayenne. And I put that in my coffee every morning and it's supposed to take down inflammation. And it's been working for me. You know, I I do more stress less. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Turmeric is good. I, you know, the uh, magic mind turmeric is is fine and I supplement it uh, and I've been doing it for a while. In fact, I had some last night. I get the raw turmeric. Maybe we'll show you a picture of it, but I get some raw turmeric and I make my own little thing. I don't drink coffee, but I make something called golden milk and it's not really milk. I get some like oat milk and I add, uh, I take a turmeric, peel it and grate it. So it's fresh raw turmeric. I'll do the same thing with some ginger, raw ginger and a and, it, and you add some uh, black pepper, as you said. Something about black pepper and turmeric, you need the black pepper just a little bit to get it to release. It's to activate it. Activates it's the activate turmeric. Yeah. Well, clothes. let me tell you something. If you take a lot of it, I, I did want to talk about this because this is something, and this has to do with our wingman this week. It's called hysterical strength. And hysterical strength is that old myth that an old lady picks up a car off of her grandchild. And she's no way she should be able to do that. Well, let me just break down hysterical strength, because what happens is we are humans and we have fight or flight responses. And what happens as soon as something like that happens, a dangerous situation, our amygdala in our brain, what it does, it activates the hypothalamus. And that starts releasing these stress hormones called adrenaline and cortisol. What does adrenaline do? You know, you and I have a lot of adrenaline getting shot off of catapults, landing on aircraft carriers. Adrenaline was running through us like mad. But the hormone adrenaline, it makes your heart and lungs work faster, and it gives more oxygen to your major muscles. Now, when you add the cortisol to that, because cortisol is a very dangerous product that your body makes, but it's necessary. And what it does, it extracts the extra glucose out of your bloodstream, the sugar, and gives you that that boost of energy. And when you mix them both together, it's an incredible thing that they call hysterical strength. And the one other thing it produces is endorphins. And the endorphins make you feel good because you don't feel as much pain. The reason I told you about hysterical strength is because this young guy 
15 year old Dallin, Dallin Wilkinson is our wingman of the month. His father was at home under the car, fixing his brakes because he has to use his car every day to work on. And he had to do it. It was late at night. He's under there trying to fix a brake. His son comes home watching him. And all of a sudden he does something, but the truck falls on him. And the video camera showed Dallin going to that truck, picking him up, getting his father out. But what really, really made me like kind of freak out is that his son said, when that truck fell on you, dad, it sounded like the noise of your soul leaving your body when you screamed. And that just blew me away. The son saved his father's life by picking up that truck and getting him to roll out. He had a lot of broken ribs and things. But this uh, hysterical strength is something else, Dr. Paul. What do you think about our wingmen? And that's Dallin and Matthew Wilkinson, the wingmen of our show this week. Yeah, that's that's that that's an exceptional. You know, like you said, you you hear about those things every once in a while that someone does something huge, superhuman for a moment in time. As you said, all those things kind of come together. Maybe we can't do it again, but at that point, they, it is achievable. I've never seen anything quite like that, but there are a lot of stories of people, you know, women just picking up picking up vehicles that football players that groups couldn't do in unison, and one person can just do it. A small person can just do it. Uh, and that cortisol that your stress produces, if it's you, if you get too much cortisol, it destroys your organs. Cortisol right. can kill you. Right. Too right. much of it. It's it's a special little mixture in your body that when you add to adrenaline, you get that hysterical strength. Right. But it's not supposed to be because you stressed about the milk fell or something didn't happen like you wanted. You're not supposed to introduce cortisol into your body for right. things like that. Cortisol can kill you. Magic mind actually stops the stress. So that's why we like it. Yes. Well, Dr. Paul, there's a great holiday show. And I have a little prayer for you, Dr. Paul, and all of our frequent flyers and new listeners out there. Whatever is meaningful, whatever is beautiful, whatever makes you happy, may you have it for this holiday season and beyond. Dr. Paul, I pray for peace. I pray for peace, peace on earth, and have a happy holiday season for all of our listeners and viewers. Thank you once again, Dr. Paul Thompson, my friend. Thank you for your love, your time, and that's something that we won't ever get back. I want to thank all the listeners, too. Thank you so much for doing the show, Dr. Paul. We're jamming. Well, thank you, Mr. Drew, for inviting me on. Always good to talk to you. And ladies and gentlemen, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to this podcast or any of the podcasts. If you're looking at YouTube, uh, they say smash the like button. Don't smash it. Just press it gently and refer to use as a link to all your friends. You can also look at us on our website, wingmenshow.com, W-I-N-G-M-E-N, show, S-H-O-W.com, all together, wingmenshow.com. And we hope to see you in the future. Thanks again, Mr. Drew. Oh, you're welcome. And we're still floating like butterflies and stinging like bees. Rumble, you badass jet pilots, rumble. May there be peace on earth and goodwill towards all men and women.